I'm Yuko House of Japan Outpost. Today, I'm at the Manchester Metropolitan University in Manchester. So, let's find out what's happening inside. So the Braid Society was originally uh, formed to spread information about narrowwares and braids which are made in many different ways. Uh, it's an international organisation, it will be 20 years old next year mm. and uh, we're very keen to spread information around about braids. Mm. Before buttons everything was tied together with cords and small ties and that's what braids are. Mm. Is it so? It, it's not just for Japanese uh, kumihimo, but no. it's all over the world. Any kind Any of braids, kind. and there are many different braids that link in different ways to Japanese kumihimo. Uh, so what, what's the percentage of Japanese kumihimo that uh, that we, we do? do? Yeah, uh, we probably about uh, forty percent of the braids we do are Japanese kumihimo, oh. but we also do uh, loop braiding with the fingers oh. and uh, ply split braiding which came from India for oh. making camel girths. Oh. Where are the uh, braiding started do you think? Uh, braids are studied all over the world. Started? Started. Yeah. Uh, well they have information, I'm not the best person to talk about it, we have some experts in the society. Okay. But um, to the best braids, of the best of my knowledge, braids would have been available since clothes were made, mm. um, and they were made in very different ways from originally just um, twisting fibers, mm. uh, and then they got more complicated, and then they put more patterns in. So they have historical braids because it's fiber; it does hasn't lasted very well. But they have historical braids from Japan, uh, in Nara and other places in Japan and in Korea and China that go back for thousands of years. Mm, I know. So it's international? International. Uh, where's the uh, headquarter? Uh, we don't, we're not headquartered, although most of the organization is in the UK. In the UK? Yes. Did, did so it start in the UK? It started in the UK. In the UK? Where in the UK do you know? Uh, it was a group of people who were interested in braiding and they lived all over the UK. Oh. So we don't have a single centre for it. Oh. Uh, and it's really helped that we have the internet to be oh. able to spread. One of the difficulties is that the experts are very widespread. Mm. We're, we're not very many. We only, mm. The society only has 250 people. Mm. But we have at least 15 countries oh, represented wow. in the society. So 20 years ago we studied in the UK. Yes. Those are the people who are interested in the Braid braiding got together. Yes. How interesting. It started in the UK. Started in the UK. Amazing. Uh, were you a founding member? No, I was not a founding member. No, so how I did you become a member? Um, I became a member because I got interested in Kumihimo and I was, was taught uh, about 1995. Okay. And a long was, time ago. Yeah. A long time ago. And I was taught how to make uh, braids on a maradai, which is the round stool. So that's a Japanese one. Japanese so you started from Japanese, Japanese one. braids. Okay. Yes. How did you learn it? Uh, from Jackie Carey, who is one of the UK experts. Uh, uh, Mikiko Tada has been uh, very much influential in bringing braiding to the rest of the world, Kumihimo to the rest of really? the world. Really? Not only the UK? Not but only the UK, but USA. Since 1985, oh. she has been travelling to the USA, to the UK, to, to teach people about Kumihimo. Japanese? Japanese uh, braiding. Ah, wow, that's incredible. Yes. So the expert you learned the Kumihimo from, was yes. she your founding? 
founding member. member. She is a founding oh, member and she is okay. now our president. Oh, she's the president? Yes. Oh, okay. What's her name again? Jackie Carey. Jackie Carey. Oh, wow. Yes. And she lives in Devon. Okay. So what do you think are you got... Uh, why do you think you got interested? Why? What? I you... like the process of making the braids oh. and I like the way that you move the threads. So oh. I enjoy uh, the process of actually making the, oh. the fibres. Some would say it's too tedious. I, I don't think it's tedious at all. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it oh. and I like to see the beautiful articles that are made when oh. it's finished. So you usually use a ma marudai, like, that's how I'm you... I'm takadai. Takadai. So uh, takadai. mainly you do Japanese one. I, I, I'm interested in Japanese Oh, okay. Right? So only Japanese one. That's yes. wonderful. Yes. Did you feel something different when you first saw it? Or, you know? I, I, I like, yes, because I like the equipment. Um, the way that the equipment is made is very much um, a beautiful equipment made for a purpose. And when we use it, um, it's made from wood, which is good, nice to feel. And mm. um, we use silk, and that's very pleasant to use. So mm. it's always very exciting to uh, be able to braid um, mm. in silk on with wood. It's it's a wonderful mm. thing to do because it, even and very peaceful. Ah, even in Japan, uh, I believe there are only very few people who actually try kumihimo. Yes, most people don't know about it. The, um, yes, so. For Japanese people, it's quite amazing that the mm. British person like yourself yes. is actually doing kumihimo. Yes. So that's why. Um, so you just thought, oh, that's beautiful. And yes, it's I want to do. learn how to do that. Oh, and so yeah. then I started with maradai, which is the round stool, and then I got more interested and started to use takadai, which makes a flat braid. Uh, and this week I am learning karakumi, oh. which is um, takes a very long time and was used for the sashes for the emperor. Emperor, oh, wow. Yeah. What did you get those uh, Maldai Takadai on? Uh, mine came from somebody in the US who makes them. Uh, my my Maldai was made in England uh, by a woodworker here who got the design from Japan. And the Takadai was made in the US by a man who got the designs from Japan. And he's very good at woodwork. I had no idea. So mm. those are uh, maragai, takadai, etc. Yes. Is made elsewhere, That's not right in now. Japan. Yes. So they originally, I bet, they got the model or sample yeah, that's from right. Japan, yes. and then they learn. And then they learn how to make it. Amazing. So mm. there's one even in the UK, yes. the manufacturer. Yes. Amazing. Well, not really manufacturer. It's more some a person who's interested in woodwork. Oh really? Ah. And then he makes them by hand. Oh wow! So they are quite expensive because ah. they're all made by hand. Ah, so sort of custom made. Custom made. Oh, okay. As people want them. Ah, to them. amazing. Mm. Where do, do you get the uh, silk? It has to be uh, the silk. Well, when I can, I buy Japanese silk because the quality you, is wonderful. In Japan, or do you? Uh, have in it? Japan, well, Jackie Carey imports it from Japan. Imports. Mm. Wow, amazing. Yeah. It's quite an expensive thing, isn't it? Yes, yeah, wow. but you can use other fibres. So we also use a synthetic silk oh, um, um, and we can also use cotton or uh, linen or other fibres. So if we're just sampling and make practising, mm. then we may not use silk. Mm. But it is much more fun to use silk. Yeah, silk is uh, yeah, so totally different. Yes. yes. <laughs> ah, wow. I just wanted to ask, uh, you decided to, or well, you are organizing this second international braiding conference. Yes. And how did it? How did you decide to organize? Or why you? Uh, we had a conference in two thousand and seven in Kyoto uh, that was organized by Maki Kotada oh. for the first international conference. And five that years ago. Five years ago, and that was just in Kumihima. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, the previous chairman of the Braid Society. Um, agreed that the UK would host the next conference mm. in 2012 uh, at the time of the Olympics. Oh. So um, I don't quite know how I ended up organising <laughs> it, but here I am. Wow. <laughs> so it's taken five years to organise. Wow. So, it has been very be difficult. Uh, uh, too much, just a lot of work. Lots um, of work. And we chose Manchester because Manchester is the heart of the textile industry in the UK mm. originally. Mm. Um, and it's a wonderful city to, to do some things in. It, you can walk around it, there's wonderful architecture, there are great museums here. So 
uh, we chose Manchester as a place to come, um, and we've brought um, international people mm. to uh, to Manchester for the conference, mm. which has been wonderful. Yeah, for, for us Japanese, you know, after first first breeding conference was in Kyoto, which mm. is understandable. Yeah, yes. Kyoto, of course. The second one turned out to be Manchester. Yeah. It's almost <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's hard to realize that Manchester is the heart of the textile industry, mm. the birthplace yeah, of the textile right. industry in the UK. That's a that's a hard thing. We tend to forget that. Yes. You know, that's incredible. Mm. So I'm really glad you managed to organize the conference here. So how is the uh, conference going so far? Uh, it's been brilliant. Yes. So really? yesterday we took the uh, conference attendees to Macclesfield oh. to look at the silk museum there. Um, in Macclesfield they did a lot of silk weaving um, in the 19th century and tw early 20th century. Oh, really? So it was very interesting. Um, and of course we are doing workshops and um, seminars and talks in Manchester all week. So we have all learned many new things. Uh, we've had a wonderful time. Wonderful! Yeah. So it was worth all your effort? It was definitely worth all ah, your effort. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, thank you so much, David. That's for a pleasure. Time. Thank you. <laughs> this conference has taken five years in the making. Okay, so it's only been a few days. But something this scale is a huge undertaking. Um, it was first agreed in 2007, so it's taken a long time to get going on this. And during that time, a lot of people have been involved. Particularly as councils change and move, some of those people are no longer involved in it now, but we're there at the start and we can finish off by others.